वेलकम टू यू इन द टू डेज एंडोक्रोनोलॉजी क्लास इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द हारमोन्स ऑफ इनवर्टिब्रेड्स यू नो दैट सर्वाइवल ऑफ एनी एनिमल डिपेंड अपॉन द थ्री फैक्टर्स वन ऑफ दिम इज द ग्रोथ एंड अदर वन इज द मेचुरेशन एंड थर्ड वन इज द रिप्रोडक्शन एक्चुअली द केमिकल्स दैट रेगुलेट दिस ऑल ऑफ दिस आर द हारमोन्स and these hormones were appeared during the animal evolution with respect to animal evolution the hormones develop in them and they also bring some changes in those animals okay so the first hormone were pro- uh, probably the neurosecretions uh, neurosecretions are the peptide hormones uh the most complex if i talk about the most complex organism like uh, ecan molluscans arthropods and echinoderms they have hormones but the simple invertebrates do not have any kind of special chemical for their uh, endocrine system or for their different physiological activity okay so if i talk about the porifera porifera do not contain any kind of endocrine gland because uh, they do not have neuron and they also do not have neurosecretory cells that's why they do not uh, show response or they do not have endocrine system or even they do not have chemical uh, for their secretion okay next one is the nadirian nadirians if i talk about the hydra then in hydra a growth promoting hormone is present which stimulates the budding uh, regeneration and the growth of the hydra similarly if i talk about uh, the uh, this hormone is present if i i i just say that this is a a flask here i will put some hormones uh, medium in this medium if uh, hydra head is incubated for example this is the head of hydra then what what happens the uh, the regeneration of head is accelerated in the presence of this chemical this hormone that's why we just call we call it as a head activator uh, which stimulates the meiosis in hydra mean uh, the chemical which activates the the procedure of mitosis in hydra uh, we know we say that chemical as the head activator so the next one is platy helminths more than, uh, about 30 years ago a lot of neuro secretory cells has been identified by zoologists these are actually present in cerebral ganglion and uh, in the major nerve cords along the major nerve cords these are present these hormones are present these, these neuropeptides are present okay they also perform different function one of them is the regeneration other one is the, they are involved in asexual reproduction even they are also involved in gonad maturation for example if i talk about the neurosecretory cells in the scolex of some tap worms and what is their function what is the uh, function of neurosecretory cells uh, in their head actually they uh, act actually they control the shedding of proglottis okay uh, what is the main function of those necro- uh, neurosecretory cells actually they control the shedding of their proglottis for example this is a scolex it, it is involved in the shedding of this proglottis which is present whole the length okay so uh, next one is the nemertians nemertians actually these do not have classical endocrine system they also do have a uh, neurosecretory cells uh, within the associated with their central nervous system uh the major function that is performed by this neurosecretory cell is the ecdysis or I mean the shedding of or the molting of old cuticle what happens the neuro uh, the neuropeptide is released after a few new cut- uh, after a new cuticle is produced after the production of new cuticle layer the neuropeptide hormone is produced and it it stimulates the excretory gland to secrete an enzyme known as leucine amino peptide uh, peptide is uh, it actually fills the spaces between old and new cuticle uh, the accumulation of the fluid in these spaces causes the old cuticle to uh, be split and be shed the leucine amino peptide is actually fills the spaces between the old and new cuticle uh, it act as a fluid and further what happens that the old cuticle is uh, split down and it is shed off okay 
so next one is the molluscans molluscans have neuroscretary uh, cells of course uh, neuroscretary cells secrete the neuropeptides uh, what are the function of the neuropeptides one of them is to regulate the heart rate they are involved in kidney function matlab mean that they are they just regulate the filtering of blood as well as uh, the, they are involved in energy metabolism Uh, the intestine of some bivalve also produce insulin you know that insulin uh, act as a carbohydrate glucose regulation it is all involved in the uh, regulation of glucose mean glucose is converted into glycogen uh, this is the main function of uh, insulin next one is the land, uh, land uh, snail helix actually they produce a specific hormone for their spermatogenesis it is it is the testosterone and even another hormone for egg laying hormone it stimulates the egg development similarly uh, the hormones from ovaries and testes uh, stimulate the other accessory sex organs even if i talk about all, all other snails then growth hormone is uh, present in them which controls the uh, control their growth of their shell as you can see uh, the different land snails in the flower present on the flower okay the next one as are the cephalopods cephalopods such as octopus and uh, squids actually they have optal optic gland in the eye stalk uh, eye stalk which produces more than one hormone for example what are the what are the main function of those hormones for example they stimulate the development of eggs uh, the proliferation of spermatogonia mean the production of spermatogonia and even the development of secondary sexual characteristics are also controlled by those hormone uh annelid if i talk about the annelids then they have well developed ner uh, nervous system is present even cephalic uh, cephal uh, cephalic uh, cephalic nervous system is present mean uh, they uh, their organs the major organs are present in their head and even uh, the well developed circulatory system is present all they have also a large cilium and uh, their endocrine system is well developed and with respect to their function and uh, it it is not a new surprising thing because molluscan also do have this system okay uh, so endocrine of uh, annelid is involved in the morphogenesis mean the the structure it is related to the structure and even a uh, development of uh, different organs and cells even de development of annelids also is regulated by the this endocrine system even the growth of uh, growth regeneration and gonadal maturation these all are uh, regulated by the hormones of endocrine system for example in polycytes uh, uh, juvenile hormone inhibits the gonadal uh, inhibits the gonad synthesis and even it stimulates the growth and regeneration uh, juvenile hormones perform these functions so next one is the gonadotropin hormone gonadotropin hormone uh, it stimulates the development of eggs hormone uh, anotocin actually it is related to oxytocin it elicits the egg laying behavior of uh, those annelids and in if, if i talk about the leech then a neuropeptide stimulates the gamete development and triggers the color changes on the in those and on those animals okay the osmoregulatory hormones have been reported in the oligochetes and what does they do uh, hyperglycemia they release the hyperglycemic hormone and what does it uh, it what does it do it maintains the high concentration of blood uh, in the uh, oligochetes lumbar lumbricus okay okay that uh, the higher concentration of glucose is maintained in the oligochetes lumbricus uh, lumbricus and who which hormone will perform this function hyperglycemic hormone will perform this functions so next one as the are the echinoderms actually echinoderms are the deuterostomes they have closely uh, relation with chordates because chordates are also deuterostomes so uh, uh, therefore the endocrine system of uh, echinoderms provide few insights into the evolution of chordates chordate endocrine system because they are 
similar to each other at some extent okay uh, because endocrine uh, echinoderms hormones and endocrine glands are very different from of course there are uh, there are different uh, glands and they also perform different functions you know that cardiates are most well developed in uh, uh, with respect to other invertebrates so echinoderms include the starfish brittle stars sea lilies sea cucumbers and even echinites okay so uh, the radial nerves of the sea stars contain a neuropeptide hormone known as the gonad stimulating substances actually these are injected into the mature sea star and what in, what it induces uh, immediate shedding of the gametes takes place and spawning behavior even meiosis in the oocytes is also regulated by the gonad stimulating hormone and even uh, it also causes the release of hormone uh, maturation inducing substances and what it does do it affects on various reproductive system of that organism so this was our today's lecture and uh, i will meet you in the next lecture and one thing more just subscribe my channel for more videos